Hello, my name is Trider. Welcome to part 7 of the Temple of Time tutorial. Let's pick up right where we left off. Alright, so today, time for a new phase. Gotten through quite a lot so far, so of course we're going to start here at the front, at our window, with of course, more tracery. And glass and calcite and everything. And then here for the corners. And here for the detailing over the windows. And remember, the windows are repeating patterns. So once we do that for a one window section here, we can slide along the rest of the wall here and build the rest of it up just the same. Although, why is there a, a difference with the gold ore on that? I wonder. There shouldn't be. I think uh, that should probably just be another infill block. Not sure why that particular one is different. And then here for the back wall, which we will put a bookmark here and come back to that. So we want to run back to the front and take a look at the detailing for the tower. And uh, all four sides of this should be exactly the same to one another. For the most part, there may be a couple of little places where it's not going to be. Uh, so over here, we were, we had to fix some things with the, oops, I broke the, the um, I think that was supposed to be calcite. Uh, so we want to fill in all this extra here. That was supposed to be diorite, like the other portions of the windows. And then we now have the detailing up here for the rib vaulting at the top. We can see the quartz coming together with the uh, lapis. Get a top-down view. Let's tuck in below here and take a look at this from below, what the entire section should look like. On the next phase course, we'll be capping that off. Let's continue looking at the exterior here. Pick up our bookmark back here by the wall. And we're pretty much doing the same window design here for the attached tower. And just straight across there and then back here, the detailing is almost the same as it was for the rib vault up there. But you can see here, because of the different wall dimensions, just a little bit different because, of course, we had to fit in our staircase just exactly in that spot. So some things in the corner here had to be a little bit squished. Uh, speaking of the staircase, let's go ahead and take a look here. Fill in uh, these blocks here, though. And then uh, that could probably be just a filler block. Continue along the back wall here. I think today we will definitely finish with the windows and probably start a bit of the upper, well, the, the lowermost sections of the last uh, large roof elements, I think. All right, so here we are along our center line at the back here, which of course means everything else from this point onwards is a mirror image 
from everything that we've done on that side over there. So we can now take a look at the interior. And since we're already back here, let's take a look at the back. Just so we can see this from both sides, because we are doing the, um, the octagonal rib bolted uh, dome type thing at the back. So it can be a little bit complicated. I don't want to go too fast. Of course you can pause, but I, I still don't like to go just too fast on things. All right, so uh, we took a look at that. Let's go back to the front here and take a look at the inside. I think, I think we've got the window. Let's take a look now here, because you remember what I said we're doing is the, um, the quartz arches and the uh, uh, lapis and everything. We're forming the lowermost portions of the uh, uppermost sections of the rib vaults that we have to form our ceiling. And of course, once you do one of these, the others are all exactly the same all the way down the building. Like so, till we get to our wall here, where we've got just deep slate tiles with a bit of calcite here and there for some tracery deta uh, detailing. I think that's all there is to take a look at there. So now that we're warmed up, let's go on to the next phase. So detail here for the windows, for the tracery, just like so. Bit of a diorite and copper. And dark prismarine. And all the infilling blocks behind that. Details over here for the top of our uh, arches over our windows, form our, up our, win our window frame. We're capping all those off now in this face here with the, uh, the diorite. Just like so. And of course, once you do one of those, all the others should follow the same pattern. Uh, this one here has some extra gold ore on it. I'm not sure why. It's really not necessary. Those should be infill blocks. Probably a uh, copy and paste error on my part when I was building it. Um, so here. Go ahead and take a quick turn and take a look at the detailing. For this, we'll go back and look at the front tower in a minute. All right, let's pause here for a moment and take a look uh, overhead at our uh, rib vaulted chamber here. And we need to take a look below here because some of these quartz blocks here are actually going to be upside down stairs right in the middle there. Let's take a look at the whole sequence from below. We can see we're just filling in as we go, slowly filling in with the lapis blocks. Like so. And uh, some more detailing over here for stairwell. Fill in those two blocks there. And then I think we've got a landing here because I think next we're gonna, from this point onwards, we're gonna turn and then we're gonna go up this way toward the attic. All right, let's keep going along the back here. I'm not sure why, why that block is missing. Same detailing for the windows, except uh, this one, it, um, it has to be done on the 45 degree diagonal. So th some things can get a little bit messy. Doing things on a diagonal like this, it's not, it, it's not something I immediately knew how to do. It's something I had to try pretty hard at uh, to get it to come out looking nice. It's one of those things you have to build and then take a step back and then look at it for a while and then rebuild and, and build it a few more times and go through that process until you get something that looks nice. Yeah, it's um, like, like with, uh, with straight arches and things, you wanna go through various uh, iterations of detailing to get things right. 
so since we're here, let's take a look at this from the interior. It looks like there's a couple of uh, void blocks here. That you can just fill in with cobblestone. Uh, but the octagonal uh, revolted uh, dome back here isn't too difficult when you can do it one slice at a time when, when the design's done for you. That is. This is another one of these things I had to do several times. This is why medieval cathedrals uh, in, in Minecraft or in anything, really, take so long to make. Just all the little intricate detail that's all got to fit together and... It can be uh, quite cumbersome to keep track of it all. Uh, let's take a look here at the interior of the main room. I haven't forgotten about the tower. We'll take a look at that on our way out. So here we can see now we have these blocks of quartz here separating from the ones for the arches. So those are going to be the ribs for our vault. And of course we have the, the two blocks here for the main gothic arches. And that's just the repeating pattern all the way down the building. Till we get to our wall, where of course we have our old friend the tracery in front of the deep slate tiles. Like so. And then we'll come over here and take a look at the tower. Alright. I think we'll, I think uh, from probably... Uh, the next phase, I think we're going to start with the tower and then and look at that before we go on to the main body of the cathedral. I think that'd be some good organization to do for the video. Lots of filler blocks in this, not too many, just some exterior blocks and a lot of filler. And of course the tops of the, the rib vault. There to be finishing everything off. Uh, I think on this we do have uh, the, the 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 walls here are going to be one block thicker than the other ones we've been building, and I, I believe, if memory serves, that's because we're going to have another set of these arches, arches, flying buttresses. We're going to have another flying buttress that's going to be coming in, and I don't think too long. We should be seeing that coming in in a couple of phases. I think. Take a look here at the top down for that. And, of course, the detailing under here with the upside-down quartz stairs right in the middle where the X comes together. For the quartz blocks, you can see we've got, we've got the X shape there. Like so. And let's go on to the next phase where we're going to be finishing off those rib balls. In fact, let's go directly to that on the next phase on the tower here. Lots of stone bricks and everything. Not too many filler blocks. And I think you can see what we're doing on the interior. All the air gaps, we're just covering that over with the last little bit of lapis and then putting a block of glowstone there at the top to finish uh, that sequence off. I just break the glowstone real quick. Drop down in here. Your completed uh, upper upper chamber chapel type thing. It'll look like that. And down um, just replace that. Uh, so let's go on now to the main uh, structure with our old friend the tracery. Gonna be dealing with the tracery for probably the rest of this video, I think. I don't know if we'll finish with it, though. And here are the detailing for the side windows. We are finished with all the tracery down here with the with the, the, the large Claire Story windows and everything and their arch. And now, of course, we're building uh, the uh, the triangular detail on top of that arch everything uh, to do with that. And of course, once you do one module of that, we just slide down the building and build all the other modules, never mind the extra gold there. 
All the other modules should be the same. And then we'll come back here to the wall and turn 90 degrees and do the same thing again. Another corner there and the same thing here. And then just a straight wall at the back here. We'll come back to uh, that in a moment. And it looks like uh, we've still got some, some open uh, block gaps there. Some construction gaps that uh, I guess I didn't see because they're, they're probably underneath something. So. Otherwise, I would have filled it in. So here we are at the back. So let's take a look at the interior. And let's take a look at everything again from below, just so we can kind of compare where we're at and everything. Make sure we're all on the same page here. Let's take a look at it from below here. We can see uh, in the middle we have eight ribs, of course, that are going to be going to a central section there. And let's come back to the front here and take a look uh, at the interior just for completeness. And the back wall here with, of course, the uh, deep slate tiles and the tracery. And over here now for uh, the stairs. So we had our little landing here. Fix that. I actually suppose uh, this this all in here should probably be these stone bricks too. I had to guess. And underneath, okay, it's underneath that door there. It popped off. You can place that door there if you want to. So we have our little landing here. We're turning up and doing our oak stairs to go here because this is going to go all the way up to our, our attic. And uh, this door here, if memory serves, this is going to go up to uh, the... Uh, we're going to have a little... Um, uh, another little chapel above this one back here because we're capping off the, the ceiling on this one with the lapis and the glowstone. Just like so. We can see here now um, how how this section on this end just a little bit squished into the corner on the wall because that's just what we had to do to make the stairwell work and have um, and have at least a double wide stairwell. I mean we, I, we could have theoretically squished it down to one um, but I don't know I didn't, I didn't really want to do that. Uh, I did have to squish a stair down to one for this one, but that's just because that one's not going very far. All right, uh, next phase up from that. Let's take a look at the detached tower here, the detailing. For that, uh, it looks like there's a big air gap in there that I forgot to go and fill in apparently behind this I suppose that should probably just be a sheet of cobble there's not any room right there at least there shouldn't be and yeah if you want to you can just fill fill all that in with cobble and uh, let's go in here and take a look at, of course, tracery for our very large window. It's our rose window up here.
and the detailing back here, of course, for the windows along the side of the building. There's some more air gaps. I mean, this this can just be filled in with cobblestone, I think, if you want to make it solid. Well, no, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, you don't want to do that. Let me just, let me take a quick look over here to confirm that before I tell you. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure we do want to leave that like this, actually. Uh, because uh, we're, we're going to see, um, we're going to see later that uh, these things don't typically get filled in solid in cathedrals. Uh, because the ceilings, the, the rib vaulted ceilings are meant to hold up only themselves. It's really the, the oak beams and everything on top of that. It's going to take the, the load of the roof. See, that's why, uh, that's why when the roof of Notre Dame went up in flames, that's why it was so... Um, it's really an important part of the building. It's not just to keep the water out. It's also to help the whole thing stay standing, really. Because, as I said, the rib vaults are meant to hold up only themselves. So... Like, if you got a whole bunch of load on top of that suddenly, then, um, I mean, you can, you can see from the fire damage of, the, the, of that cathedral how some of those vaults collapsed, particularly there in the middle. You know, it's a wonder more of them didn't collapse. But... Anyway, I ignored the extra gold for that one, but otherwise build them all the same. Right here until we hit the wall and then turn the corner. And we got a whole bunch of infilling infilling blocks here. You can just make all these cobble or just leave them air blocks depending on how you're you're doing your cathedral. And cobble's pretty cheap. I mean you could even fill it with dirt if you wanted to. Just something to keep uh keep things from spawning if you are going to be leaving a lot of large sections hollow. Uh, so let's slow down a little bit here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stairwell, though, since we're here. Simple detailing for the stairwell. Well, let's let's fix these these particular blocks there by the stairs, just like so. And let's uh, continue taking a look at the back here. Uh, we do want to leave, um, I think, okay. Yeah, that's why those were hollow. That's because it, it started farther down than, than those did. We're, we have to do the same thing with the the, uh, the vaulted dome at the back. I mean, you, you can technically fill it in if you want to. Uh, but I just left it there as, um, just because it's a more accurate detail to how cathedrals are, are really made. As if you remember when we did the tour of the attic, there was all all the wood beams up there and everything. So, and if you look over the uh, the little walkways I made, you can actually see down into those little voids. I just thought it would be a little cool, uh, a, a cool thing to have. So, all right, there's there's our center line. So let's now take a look at this from the other side. Like so, and let's get a little altitude on this and take a look down at it. Because it is getting just a little bit more complicated. Like so, long way down now, really long way down. Safety warning, remember, go, go and uh, repair your elytra if you haven't in a while. If you fall, you're gonna need it. Uh, so here, let's take a look at the the uh, rib vaulting down in this section. And how the vaults work? There should be just like one layer of uh, cobble and or tuff behind the lapis blocks. Is how that works. And then behind those, there should just be uh, exposed air blocks. 
All right, so all the way back down here to the wall, where we just have four blocks of calcite and some quartz for our tracery. All right, uh, next phase. Yeah, I definitely forgot to go back and back and fill that in. Uh, anyway, let's. Oh, we're supposed to start with that. Whoops. Uh, so back here, uh, simple detailing. Now we're coming to the tops of these uh, large. Large decorations over the top of the arches that we've been building for quite a while. Otherwise, everything is just a bit of filler blocks and stone bricks. And of course, everything back here in that big square, you can just fill that in with a, just a straight slab of cobble. Is uh, what you should be doing. Because there's no way to get into that. It's just going to be uh, empty space. So, And oh, here they are. Uh, so, uh, here we have a bit of a uh, uh, diorite. Of course, because we're going to be building another rib, uh, rib vault. Uh, flying buttress. Getting my terminology tongue twisted. Uh, so, so, these two blocks down here, right here, they're going to correspond roughly to these two blocks back up here. So, we're going to be building another one of these. As, uh, as our central tower continues ever upwards. Because you remember uh, at the top here, we have, we have a whole bunch more tower to build on that. Uh, and I think um, probably by the time we get to the end of the t that tower there, that's gonna, that may make this my officially longest series. If uh, ever done in terms of parts, I think it's probably going to eclipse the hippodrome by one part, probably. But we'll have to see. Uh, we're already up to part seven, and we're not going to do it all today. So eight, nine, ten—that probably sounds about right. Maybe, about, maybe, maybe ten parts. Maybe there may be more. We'll just have to see how it works out. Of course, if you're watching this video series in the future, you already know how many parts it is. Uh, but don't be daunted by that. It's just because it's a really tall building and it's really complicated and we're only going up one block at a time. So hence, hence the long nature of the series. Because uh, the uh, medieval cathedrals in, in Minecraft, I would say that these are like a 13 out of 10 on the difficulty scale. So it, it, it requires such a thing as that. Whereas the, the, the Roman patterns tend to be a little bit more simple overall so they can be explained and shown quite a bit quicker and oh that's an irregularity hmm. i wonder why there is that there like that not on any of the others Hmm. That's interesting. Well, it doesn't matter too much. I think that's because uh, this section, I think this that that got covered up by the uh, the tower that sits on top of it. So it looks like I didn't go back and fix that. Uh, but if we just slide along here, we can see ignore that bit of extra gold. That's going to be the last bit of extra gold on that though. And I think uh, if you want to make it, uh, if you want to make your version better, uh, these first two sections up here, where we have the air gaps and everything behind, uh, or rather on, on top of the rib balls, they should match the other ones along through here, because you you can see what a repeating pattern that is. So I mean, th those aren't going to be visible because they get covered up, but you know, still. If you've got just a just a little bit of OCD in you, you may want to you may want to fix that, because you always know that it's there. If it's not fixed, those things will bother me sometimes. I've already got quite a list of things to go back and fix on this building. Uh, and I thought I had fixed everything when I when I published the tutorial, but you know. Always find something, something new. Found several things on this one when I, when I, when I sliced it up and looked at it in the tutorial, just up close and slow with you. It's that's when I see these things. 
Uh, so let's pause here and take a look now at the stairwell. Sections here, we do have a couple of extra blocks by the stairs to add. Like so. And we'll continue along over here. I think we're going to have to take a look at the exterior first and then the interior. So build all the stone brick stuff first. And then we'll take a look at the, the revolting for the dome. All right, so here we are at the back along our center line. So let's now take a look at, uh, let's take a look at the entire sequence from the top down. Kind of see where we're at. Now let's uh, drill in a little bit closer. We can see we've got our quartz ribs overhanging by quite a lot now. And let's go here and take a look now a little closer at the lapis. And all of the, the air gaps behind those. All right, let's take a look at that from below again. As we have a double overhanging lapis here, as you can see. As we're getting near uh, the top of it, so it's, it has to flatten out a little bit. Uh, let's go back to the front here. We can see uh, we've got uh, about half of the arch built. Here, so you can see how it's beginning to lean in. And we ought to get to the top of that today. And let's take a look at these. Uh, well, let's, let's skip, skip those and take a look at these. So from the inside, it's just a repeating pattern all the way down the building. If we get to our back wall, which is two blocks of calcite tracery. Take a closer look at this from below, though. Once you do one section, all the others are just the same. But if we lower down a bit, we can see, of course, we're having, we're having our ribs that are going to be stretching out and meeting in, uh, in the middle there. I think that's all there is to that phase. Let's go on to the next one. No. Here we are. I was looking at that tower there thinking that that was the next one. I'm like, no. We already did the, we already did that. Uh, so this phase here is the one we want to be taking a look at. For the detached tower with the, the cobblestone and the top and everything. The last little bits of uh, gold and uh, copper and dark prismarine on those, almost. And behind that, you can just fill, fill all that box in with just another layer of cobble if you want to. And over here you can see we've got the bits of diorite because, as I explained, we're building two more of those flying buttresses down there because this tower you remember from the tour that this section is going to go up up quite a lot farther so uh, since we had these towers here i just thought it'd be too convenient to just put two more buttresses right there just to, just to help hold the, the thing up uh, all right uh, detailing here a bit of glass in the middle and then the calcite here The diorite and the gold and the copper uh, there. Um, we're now pretty far away from, from that there, so we'll take a look at that on our way out. And we'll take a look at the walls here. and slide along the building, never mind that extra block of gold. 
Maybe that should be the last extra one. All right, turning back here for the wall. Or, well, I guess it's it's uh, less of a wall and more of just a, a, an attached tower. With a whole bunch of filler blocks. And then the flat walls here. And then while we're here, let's go ahead and take a a look here at the detailing for the stairwell. Right there, just simple detailing for the stairwell. It's just going up to the attic, so it doesn't have to uh, be super fancy. And I could have omitted the stairwell entirely, but... It's just too much fun to be able to crawl through attics of cathedrals, so I thought, we, re did we really just have to have it. So I, I made it work. Uh, back here, detailing for the octagonal section of the back with the walls. And here along our center line, let's go let's take a closer look here now at what's behind that. Now uh, you can see now we have, um, I think we're going to finish the, the dome in here today as well, too, so. But you can see we have our quartz uh, ribs leaning in, very anxious to uh, meet at a point up there. And let's take a look at that from below. All right, uh, now let's go back here, take a look at the interior sections. Now let's take a look at those from below. Of course, you know, these are modules, so once you do one of these, like so, all the other ones down the building are going to be the same. Let's take a look at that from the top now. And then uh, three blocks of calcite back here for tracery on the wall. All right, next phase back over here for the tower. So we're going to be doing again what we haven't done for a while. Remember how we had the upside down stairs here and then the full blocks and the stairs again? Well, we're going to be doing another one of those up here, uh, which means we have a couple of blocks to correct for that, and I, th I think just probably fill in those. Fill in all those would be the safest bet. Because we don't want to have uh, we don't want to have the, the infill blocks peeking out of that little corner there. That needs to be stone bricks, like the rest of the stairs are. So if we just just change all those real quick, and uh, all these. And we'll go back and look at that. And uh, fill out, fill all the air blocks back in there with cobblestone, or you can just leave that hollow if you want to. It doesn't particularly matter. Uh, but if you do leave it hollow, you know, throw down some torches. Take a look from below here. You can see we have the stairs picking out. This corner stair, it doesn't really matter which direction it faces. It can either face out that way or back this way. Just whatever direction you want to have for it. Uh, the diorite, of course, cuts into it here for the lowermost portions of the flying buttress. And 
And we can go on to the next phase. Uh, so, uh, oh good. Uh, so we can zoom out a little here. We can see we're just doing uh, calcite straight across there, and that's because that forms the top circle of our rose window that we've been building for a couple of parts now. But you can see you can see uh, the circle I'm outlining here, and that's of course our rose window, which uh, I've just integrated the rose window into uh, a larger window below it just because that was easier to, easier to do. Uh, some cathedrals they will only have the rose window. And then they will have other things below it, but they'll make more of a hard edge between the the just just the, the, the uh, circular window and the rest of it. Uh, but for this one, I thought uh, to match the rest of the the windows and everything, it really looked best if it was not done that way. Uh, but of course, we've been uh, we've been doing the, the glass and the tracery and everything, so you can see. Then if we you know. We step back and admire our work for a moment. The overall effect is really quite nice. Which is, of course, uh, the main reason for doing the building. We want to have nice things. And uh, that, that block there, uh, we're now doing upside down stairs here at this level again like we did on the tower, so we've got a couple of these other blocks peeking out. Right there and right there that shouldn't be. And I think we're gonna have the same problem here too. Like there and there. And there, and not there, hmm. and whoops, that's, that's, I broke it, but you, you saw that's supposed to be an upside down stair, right there, like, like that, let's take a look at that, um, all the way down the building, you can see behind that, we've just got a line of upside down stairs, it's running all the way down the building, in that corner there. Let's uh, let's bookmark that again and come back and take a look at that from the top. So I wonder why I didn't continue the stairs through to the tower. Hmm. Hold that thought. Okay. The tower has different detailing. All right, let's slide slowly down the side of the cathedral here. Right there, let's still leave our bookmark there. And well, now we'll, we'll come back to the uh, that interior on our way out. Let's turn and go this direction here. So we've got uh, quite a lot of th uh, filler blocks back here. We've got another one of these corners to fix. Right there with the upside down stairs. And uh, this corner here as well. And then just a straight run of stairs here into the corner. Because that block there. And then just turn, straight run of stairs again, all the way over to right there. Then keep going, turning the corner. Fixing all of these blocks. Fixing all of those blocks there. With some more upside down stairs facing out this way. And then they turn and start going the other way. Back here, and then they turn and go right here. 
along along our center line. Right there. So let's take a closer look now at the back. We can see our quartz blocks back there for the rib vaulting is just touching each other. We're getting to a critical level where that's going to start uh, completing itself. And let's uh, take a look at that from the top down, probably the easiest way to show you. Let's get a little altitude. Take a look at the entire sequence from the top. And zoom in a bit. And a bit more. And now let's take a look at everything from below. So we can see how everything is coming to a nice, satisfying con con uh, conclusion. Right there. And then I think that's all there is. I didn't stop and look at the uh, stairwell. Let's tend to that before we move on. So the, the detailing for the stairwell, it's very simple detailing. You're just extending the stairs straight up and uh, doing the detailing for the wall. Uh, all right, so let's go back here because you can see that the rib vaults in uh, the main, uh, the first chamber of the cathedral are all now meeting to a very satisfactory conclusion. Now the, the, the main arches are going to do so on the next phase. But we can see in the middle we've got the, the upside down stairs here in the little cross pattern. And let me see, let's, uh, let's take a look at this from the top down, I think. The whole, st the, the whole sequence from both sides. Probably going to be the easiest way to show you this, and I think in profile now. Let me kind of dial it in, like so. And it's going to be a simple repeating pattern just as you go. A lot of it's um, uh, pretty straight now. Uh, a lot of the, the torturous detail is behind us on that. So doing all of those the same until we get to the other end down here where we got just a couple more blocks of calcite tracery. Right there. And I think that's all that is. Let's go on to the next phase here. Uh, starting with the tower. And uh, we have quite a few blocks to fix, fix here. Before we uh, before we do that, let me just go through here and and fix those. I think it's just going to be these two blocks on this section here by the stairs. It's always by the stairs. It's my fault. Sorry, I should really should have stripped off all the stairs before I optimized the infill. Uh, so here. Uh, so we've got. Uh, you remember down here when we when we were doing these little. Um, uh, copper details over the tops of the, the triangles here. Well, we're doing that again up here with these. And behind that, of course, we're doing some stairs. Uh, because uh, these towers are going to start coming to their very pointy conclusions. And it looks like I began to fill the, uh, the tower in back there, but I'm, I neglected to. You can you can just fill all that that hole in solid with whatever you have. And of course, here the detailing for our flying buttress. It's going to be the last uh, two sets of flying buttresses that we're going to be building. Uh, well, no, that's not correct. There's going to there's some there's some really small ones that we'll be building up up towards the top for the octagonal lantern on the tower, but as far as large buttresses, these are the last two sets.
All right, and fill, fill all that in with whatever. Back down there. So over here, let's start on the exterior. So we're capping off our uh, arch here with a bit of, um, all right. Like so, although, I mean, this section, it didn't, Gothic arches should ideally be a little bit more pointy than this. Um, I'm not sure why I did it that way exactly. And they, I mean, looking at it, it seems like, it seems like it should be done like that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Hold that thought. Let me, let me go over here and look. That's got to be a mistake. Yeah, that, that should definitely come to a point like that. Is it because the interior? No? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a little change to the design on the fly. Sorry about that. Uh, we are going to um, we want to build this section like that here at the front, and then on top of the stairs, of course, we're going back to the full blocks. And then the same uh, decorative uh, copper finials on top of the, the copper and dark prismarine sections there. Then the repeating patterns down the side. And then we hit our wall here, cobble there. Turning the corner, fixing that. And that one. And then just straight runs here, turn the corner, another straight run. Then here along the diagonal. And then here at the back. All right, so we'll start taking a look at the insides now. Uh, and it's also at this level we're capping off the the dome almost. Let's get a let's get a top down view of this entire sequence, and zoom in a bit, and a bit more, and a bit more. Now let's take a look at the completed section from below here. This is like all the way down, pretty much. In fact, let's just go all the way down here, so so we can see now what we've been, what we've been building this entire time. Very satisfying, I think. It's one of the uh, it's one of the key features inside this cathedral. Quite nice, very nice room. Uh, over here, we do need to come come back around, take a look at this here. We have just a little decorative floor up here. It's just just a very very small additional chapel above our other chapel that we had down there. So I'll just show you that from the top down. It's got just a simple uh, deep slate tile floor and some chiseled quartz. And then just a simple detailing for the stairwell here. All right, now let's fly all the way back here and take a look at the central section of the building again. I think uh, probably the easiest thing. We'll take a look at the, the top down view first and then we'll drop down and take a look at it from below. We can see now we have our main arches meeting in the middle with that quartz, those six blocks of quartz. 
and the glowstone all the rib vaults are now meeting to their conclusions right there and then we get all the way back down to the wall where you will be pleased to hear that we're done with the tracery you remember we've been talking about this tracery for a long long time and now we finished it those last couple of blocks there just cap it all off with quartz And then let's um, let's lower down a bit and take a look at the the section here from below. All right, let's go on to the next phase. Uh, so over here. We've got uh, some cobblestone walls now, something we haven't seen. Not sure why, why we have all this here. That's got to be because of those torches. I should have removed the torches too. Let me, uh, just, for, just so this isn't confusing, let me go around and fix. Fix all these. My apologies, we're doing, doing a little uh, live building on that. Normally for tutorials, I try and make them as time dense as possible. In fact, that should probably all be stone brick, shouldn't it? Yes, it should. Okay. All right, fixed. Uh, start here again. Uh, so a bit of copper there and cobblestone walls behind that. We're just, you know, a little safety railing. Safety first. And uh, back here, we want to want to pretty much probably just make all that stone bricks. It'd just be the easiest thing to do. And then you can see the uh, diorite here we have, of course, for our flying buttresses. And then back here, we have... It looks like there should, there should have really been floors in these little... Well, there's no way to get up to them, so that's probably why I forgot to put in the floors. Because you can see here, we did have these blocks of... Um... Go quick, a quick look. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, back over here on this lowermost level down here, we really should have put in some sort of a floor. Like, you know, just, just some sort of random, random checkerboard floor at this level, I think, is probably what should be there. And then to just extend that all the way across and all this down here, just, you know, fill that in with cobblestone. And then in front of that, we have the detailing for what's going to be a uh, last little section of small decorative windows up here for the lanterns on top of the, the small side towers. That should all be symmetrical, though. Uh, so detailing here, you remember we, I changed this to do, be just a little bit more pointy because it should be, that looked entirely too much, too round. It looked, it, it, it looked Roman. And uh, of course, uh, on a Gothic cathedral, you have to have the pointy arches, which, uh, uh, fun fact that the, the Gothic pointy arches are actually, are actually still Roman arches, except they're just squished together. Like like uh, the Gothic arches, they're just the, the sides of the arches, and then you just remove the keystone and the middle parts, and then just move them closer together. And uh, that's the only thing about that.
So detailing here again for the stairs, uh, fi fix all these places where we have, whoops, no, with stone bricks, where we have exposed uh, edges of blocks like that. Right there. And then we've got, of course, some stone brick stairs behind those, just like we had on the small towers. Stone brick stairs and um, cut copper for the decorative finials, like so. And here, the, the decorative finials, they kind of got squished into some of the, uh, the detailing there. And fix all of fix all of these. Let me just fix all of those real quick. And then we'll come back and take a look at the sequence. Uh, you can also see behind here we're capping off the vaults. So our big uh, our really big room. Uh, the first room in the, the two-room cathedral is being finished. The proper name for the space escapes me at the moment. I'm calling it a room. There is a name for it, I just can't, re I can't recall. All right, so back here we have a bunch of exposed blocks that shouldn't be again. I think um, up here that should be stone bricks. There, so we turn the corner and then we're doing much the same detailing over here that we did on the, the uh, on that tower up there because these are just copied and pasted sections. For that, which is why we have to, which is why I have to fix the same, same errors on that over here. Let me go ahead and do that. Well, it's because of those torches, I think. All right, I'll fix. Let's come back here, take a look at that again. And not 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 quite all fixed. Oh dear. Let's just let's just remove all, all these blocks. Just make all of these stone bricks. Be the easiest thing to do. Sorry. Um some extra stairs back there for some reason. Alright, start over again. Take a look at this section here. It gets a little messy here because it kind of it, it gets squished into the cathedral just a little bit. And when you start squishing uh, detailed parts together, sometimes you end up with, with random stairs here and there. Uh, but you can see back behind here, the, this, this one back here was done right because you can't actually get into this little room. See how we did the floor here? Uh, a, a, you might want to put in just a similar floor in that one up there at this level and make the interior of this chamber the same as this those. Let's take a look at that from the top down. And then a quick look over here at the stairwell. This is going straight up now. That's pretty easy. And uh, this is, of course, where this little stair finish. It just goes straight down. This little door here. And I just wanted to prov provide access to this, this little chamber here. Like, you know, like, like if Quasimodo needs a little place to live, you know, this, this wouldn't be too bad. I don't actually remember where Quasimodo lived in the cathedral. I, I know it was in the attics. That's kind of where we're at. There's places higher up in, in the attics here, though, that are accessible. That he might prefer to live instead. That was the main attraction of that movie to me. I wasn't really watching the plot. I was mostly just watching the background of the cathedral. 
I mean, you know, obviously. All right, so stone brick stairs here for the most part. Fix a couple of these little places here, though. You can see here, once we get to this little point, they, they reverse direction that they're facing. Then just a straight run across the back, a little bit of uh, copper. Let's take a look at the interior. So now you can see a new material that we haven't really seen before, or in a while. We have the, the oak beams that are going straight across. Just like so. I think these are the bark blocks I used here. In fact, let's get an al uh, some altitude on this so we can see the whole thing. Uh, because now that we have the wood coming into view, these are going to be the lowermost portions of the, the wooden rafters in the building. Uh, we can also see here with uh, this block of glowstone and the quartz around it, we have finished. Uh, we have finished down here. The, the entire chamber of the Master Sword, so it is now complete. At least from, from an interior view, and you can, you can uh, uh, relax inside there and, and uh, admire your work. Because it's been quite a lot of work, I imagine, to get to this particular phase here. But we still have quite a long ways to go. We've got to put the whole roof on the cathedral now. So let's come back here, take a look at the central sections. It's going to be our last little look. We'll need to take at these. Uh, in fact, uh, in order to get into that, we need to uh, take a look at it from below. So and You can see here we now have very satisfying completed uh, arches and rib vaults and everything all along the nave of the church here. Very satisfying. And you can see here, it's just capped off with the um, the lapis and the last block of glowstone right there. I take the elevator back up. And we can see along the top here, the simple detailing for that with just the uh, lapis down the middle and the uh, the filler blocks and the stone bricks everywhere else. Then once you hit the back wall, it's just now completely filler blocks back here. All the tracery is all finished. The rib vaults are all finished. And the octagonal vaulted dome is all finished as well. And uh, I can still talk, so let's go on to another phase. Uh, let's take a look uh, at uh, the, the, uh, the, the pinnacle lanterns on the, the small towers right here. So let's uh, take a look at this from the front sections here. Just some simple detailing on the corners there with the, the, cal uh, the calcite, the, uh, the, the cobblestone and the tuff and the copper blocks. Only slightly different here where of course we have the uh, the flying buttress cutting into the sections. And then behind that you can see here we just have just a little bit more calcite and some glass because we have some small decorative windows uh, built into these lanterns at the top. And of course, uh, they're all symmetrical, so once you do one little section of this, the others are the same. Uh, down here, put in, you've, you've already put in the floor on that, so. Uh, let's go back here. Of course, we've got a bit of a um, uh, gold and copper, like so. We'll take a look at the outside first, and then we'll take a, a closer look at the interior. As we go, we're past the difficult portions with the stairs with all with all these little blocks that we fixed, so everything should be right on this. 
Uh, this should be one of the easier phases on this. So you can also see now here that uh, these sections, this is the tower we have at the front. So this is still going to be going straight up for quite a ways. Be one of the last things we built. But back here you can see that we now have a straight run of various uh, patterns of copper and dark prismarine. That's because these are the lowermost sections of our roof that we're putting on. Of course, on cathedrals, these are, were generally made out of lead, uh, which is uh, one of the big reasons that the, the fire at Notre Dame was a big problem, because that roof was also made of lead. Lead has very low melting point. And when you put a, a whole bunch of flaming wood below that lead, I mean, the whole thing, the whole thing melts. So not only does the roof burn up and you have a, a whole bunch of ash, you have molten lead just streaming everywhere all around, just off the building and down into the building. And uh, it creates a big health hazard, you know, lead dust and everything. Really, really bad for you. But that's what they did back then because, you know, durable roofing materials, It's lead was always a big go-to for those types of things. Uh, but on our building, we, we don't have a lead block in Minecraft. So we are using dark prismarine and uh, copper. So we are still using a metallic block, kind of. Uh, but it would be, it's, um, I mean, lead is already, I think lead is heavier. So this roof would actually be lighter on the building. But, um... It's also more expensive because you know bronze back then. It's it, in the medieval period. It's uh, it wasn't uh, 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 still a very common thing. Neither was iron. You didn't get uh, that until that was mass produced. And really, um, what I don't know, pro probably seventeen fifty something, give or take a couple of decades, depending on where the the revolutionary uh, or on where the uh, industrial revolution started. Because after that, uh, metal became quite commonplace. Uh, but, but before that, it was always uh, somewhat of a luxury. We do have some, uh, some upside down stairs here, by the way. And a couple back there, too. Right there, upside down stairs. And there again. And then here we are along the center line at the back. So let's take a closer look at this section here. You can see we've got just a couple of blocks of uh, oak planks sitting there. And then here in the middle, we've got some filler blocks and some more oak beams that we're going to have there. So let's get a little altitude on this. Take a look at the whole thing. A little closer. Closer again. And down there in the middle. All right, and over here, simple detailing for our stairwell. I'm not really sure why that block is missing. You can see our stairwell is just going to uh, be meeting here at the top in a couple of phases. Uh, now let's go back here and take a look at the insides of this section. We already did the walls on this one, so we can see just down the uh, middle here, it's just being capped off with a, a cobblestone and tough, pretty much. Very simple section. Just do that for all the modules until we go all the way down to the end. And of course, we have our filler blocks and our stairwell. And then everything at the back. All right, I think I can do another phase today. This would be a good phase to stop on. Um, let's take a look here at the detailing. Finish off our, uh, finishing off our decorative finials here with one little last block of copper. 
I'm really a big fan of the cut copper blocks. One of the best blocks they've added to the game in years. Also a big fan of tough, as you can tell. Again, cobble deep slate. There's some of my new favorite materials. Because I've I've incorporated them in, in all the new builds since they've come out. All right, we can see here we have our flying buttresses leaning over to towards the building, of course, where they will they will make contact with it. They help provide much needed uh, structural support on that. And back here, the simple detailing for the little uh, lantern chamber that we have there. All right, over here in the middle where the torch is. Got a bit more calcite coming in here because th these are going to be the bases of some smaller windows. Because whenever you see exposed calcite on the uh, uh, on the uh, on the on the exterior, that indicates we have windows. And we'll take a look at the interior in a moment. Let's just start on the outside. Um, so here we're finishing off the decorative finials on this section with that one last block of copper. And we're doing the same pattern with the roof, um, the roof tiles. They're just being extended straight up. We do have some upside down uh, cobblestone stairs here though. You may make a note of that. So do the same pattern just all the way, all the way down the building until we get here to the corner. Where, of course, we're doing the same details here for this little lantern that we did for that one over there. Like so, same detailing. And just uh, extend uh, the... Um, the roof lying straight back through here until we get to the octagonal section where it needs to go out a little by just a couple of blocks. Uh, now, normally, this is one difficulty that I had with this building. Normally, we would we would want to have this section here be in line with that, but you can clearly see it's not, and uh, that's just because of um, it's because I built this building from the inside out, really. So it's because of how the uh, how, how big that uh, rib vaulted dome down there needed to be. That uh, when I was working on this section, I the only compromise I could make was to push this out a little bit right here. This is one of the reasons that this little this little integrated tower here, while while the design looks like you know it looks like it should be part of that, I went through a number of design variations back here for this particular section before coming up with this one. This is a, this was uh, very difficult to figure out something to get right. Have a couple of stairs there, and, but of course I've done all the problem solving for you on this. So all you need to do is follow along. All right, so a center line right here. So let's take a closer look now at the wood beams. That we have. I think most of these are bark blocks. Right there, and you can see we have a three block wide walkway right here, starting at this point here. And this walkway is going to go from here all the way back down to the front. So for this section here, let's get some altitude, take a look at the whole thing. And then just zoom in in stages. Right here, okay, this central section here, we can see we're finished building this stairwell. You know, this stairwell we've been working on for many, many parts ends here. And here is the design for the flooring for that. It's uh, full blocks and uh, oak tree trunks on the sides there for the most part. And then here for the simple detailing, we're extending the walkway 
over here, and those beams are going to be on their sides just like that there. Of course, we have these transverse beams going all the way across there, and then, then they go to two blocks wide, and then back to one, and then back to two. Just like so, repeating pattern all the way down the building till we get here, where of course, remember, we have our big tower, which means we have to have extra, extra chunky supports here for that. So let me just, uh, let me just back up here. Show you that from the top down, we'll start back here at the front and take a look at it. And we have these extra oak uh, planks here on the sides to enable uh, you to, to walk around. Because in the middle here is where I put the staircase, I think, that goes up to the next level. So we couldn't have the walkway go straight through that. Just like so. And there's going to be an excellent place to stop for today. So we've gotten quite quite a lot done today. The interior of the, the, the main interior sections of the cathedral mostly complete. Now we're working on the roof sections, which are going to be the next couple of parts. are going to be, be all, pretty, pretty much all roof sections. The rest is really big tower. Uh, but I hope you are having a lot of fun building the Temple of Time. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.